Understanding the phrase, caught at a bad time. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a very interesting English phrase, caught at a bad time. This expression is commonly used in both formal and informal settings, and understanding it can really help in your daily English conversations. Let's explore what it means, when to use it, and how to respond if someone says it to you. The phrase, caught at a bad time, is used to indicate that someone has been interrupted or approached at a moment that is inconvenient for them. This could be because they are busy, dealing with something important, or simply not in the right frame of mind to engage. It's a polite way of saying that it's not the best moment for a conversation or request. To help you better understand, let's look at some examples. At work, imagine your boss is in the middle of a very important meeting, and you walk in to ask a question. Your boss might say, I'm sorry, you've caught me at a bad time. Can we talk later? In personal life, you call a friend who is in the middle of cooking dinner for their family. They might say, can I call you back? You've just caught me at a bad time. These examples show that the phrase can be used in a variety of situations where the person you're trying to talk to is preoccupied or unable to give you their full attention. If someone tells you that you've caught them at a bad time, the best response is to be understanding and flexible. Here are a few polite ways to respond. Sure. No problem. When would be a better time to talk? I understand. Let's reschedule for a time that's convenient for you. No worries. I'll send you an email, message instead. Does that work? These responses show respect for the other person's time and situation and they help maintain a positive relationship. The phrase, caught at a bad time, is a useful one to know because it reflects the realities of daily life. We're all busy, and timing matters. By understanding how to use and respond to this phrase, you can navigate English-speaking environments more smoothly and politely. We hope this video helps you in your English learning journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more useful tips. See you in the next video.